showing any signs of fatigue at this stage, Joe, is he after that? Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Fatigue, oh dear. I mean, it's like he's... Oh, I mean, this is a joke Six start. One. I mean, Simon Rosner's one of the best starters against anyone on the PSA World well, Up, thank you. Talking about Rosner, although he's 8-2 eight, eight down now and it's been a, a joke start from Gaultier, and fantastic out. start. From oh. oh, he's got it! To be exaggerated. Oh, he's going to get a stroke. He'll get the stroke. Rosner will be furious, but it is a stroke, I feel. Here we go. He's got his racket underneath the ball. Yeah, yeah, very very cleanly there. Miles up. That's well played. Very well played. He did well to improvise. Oh, wow. Good finish. It's acknowledged by Gaultier again. Just got stuck there a little bit behind uh, Simon Rosner. And out, 7-4. German just taking his space. To go two love up for Gregory Gaultier. He's going to get a straight Rosner, though. So we're into a tie break. And out, 10 all. A player must win by two points. Hang on a minute. That's just... It's certainly not appropriate to that scenario. Down. Gregory well, Gaultier, down. for me, has not been, has well, not been leaving his training to leg. Wagner, one game all. Needed that quick point, really, Gaultier. Well, touche, mon ami. It's the backhand side from Gaultier, the kill into the front left-hand corner. Six. Quality of the match goes on. Beautiful, perfect squash with the length, setting up the loose ball, Eight, seven. and then finishing this in such a relaxed fashion. What a high post there from Rosner. He's doing some work off the back of these shots into the front. He's got to be careful, needs to get that ball higher. <laughs> Tightest I've ever seen Rosner hit. System basis. He's, oh, done he's done it! He's done him again! On the forehand, Wally Boast! Stretched out like an albatross on the team. This is quality. Quality, quality squash from Rosner. He knows he's got Gaultier on the ropes here. Five one. Saw the frustration there from Gaultier. Sunken. Five minutes so far. Simon Rosner. Oh, he's Simon Rosner. Up. Yeah, he's given up. Gaultier's given up here. PJ, Ricky Hill, who's watching this, who was in the comms box with us, actually predicted a 3-1 victory for Simon Rosner. This is this stage. Ball, but, but with the head-to-heads and never beating Gaultier, nine match balls, and he's hit the tin. Simon Rosner, the noble German, who's a fantastic... 9-11, Fantastic beacon for German squash and European squash. He's a lovely chap, he's uh, one of the good guys, thoroughly deserved. Best squash performance I've seen from Simon Rosner, I really think I've seen one against Wilstrop in Qatar, but this one, the first three games were extraordinary, three games to one in 68 minutes. Simon, 
first of all, congratulations. In my mind, I'm going, which is bigger, the fact that you're about to be in the Tournament of Champions finals or that you just beat Gregory Gaultier after 17 attempts? Oh, that's a difficult question. I think uh, it's pretty equal. Uh, I think I've lost to Greg not only 16 times, I think I've lost to him like 30 times, including Europeans and World Championships and stuff like that. So beating him here for actually the first time. I know I've beaten him before, but that was a best of three format. So beating him in a best of five game is unbelievable. It's, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's uh, probably the best feeling in the world. Can you?